Or example three, find the net signed area and the total area between the curve of the function f of x equals 2x over the x-axis over the interval negative 3 to 3. Use the graph and area formulas. Now for the next few of these, we are going to have very good shapes that are going to fit, okay? These are actually going to form some triangles. All right. So we'll go ahead and do this. At the point 3 and negative 3, our function is at negative 6 and 6 respectively. And the area we want to find is this area. Okay. Now, the area, the area for this, the net signed area, is going to be, notice we actually have some underneath and some above the x-axis. So the area of the one on the right, we're going to call that A1, and that A2. The right, that is a base of 3, a height of 6 divided by 2, minus the area of A2, which is 3 times 6 over 2, equals 0. So we have a 0 net area. Okay, I think of this as if I begin walking across the room uh, to my right. Let's just say, say I start here. Here is my 0 position, my equilibrium there. Say I move to my right three feet. But I turn back and I walk six feet going in the opposite direction. My net gain is actually negative three feet. I've gone three feet to the left as a net. Okay, How far have I actually walked my total distance? Well that's nine if I add the two together. So you could think of this as negative six feet and that is 3 minus 6 feet, which is negative 3 feet gain. But if I want to know my net, then I, or my total, then I actually need to deal with only positive values and then add those together. All right, so my total area is the next thing. The total area. That is going to be 3 times 6 over 2 plus 3 times 6 over 2, which will be 18. So my total area is the 18, but my net is 0 because those two actually have the same area. Let's see if we can hammer that out a little bit more. Find the total area of f of x equals x minus 2, so underneath this curve, over the interval from 0 to 6. At a, at a value of 0, this function is at negative 2. And at a value of 6, this is at 4. And it's a linear function, so we have something that looks like that. Now the area underneath this is this area plus this area. Now, the place that it intersects there, if we set this equal to 0, we find that x equals 2. x equals 2. So what this is going to come down to, our total area is the integral from 0 to 2 of x minus 2 uh, dx plus the integral from 2 to 6 of x minus 2 dx. Now to find the total area, what I'm going to do is make both of these positives. So I'm going to take the absolute value of whatever I get out of those area functions. So the first, that is a triangle with a base of 2 and a height of 2. Now because it's below the x-axis, it's going to end up being negative, so 2 times 2 over 2. plus the absolute value of that triangle as a base of 4, height of 4, and dividing that by 2. So that would be an area of positive 2 plus 8, and so my area is 10.